Welcome back, Bohemians. My name is Tokriv, and this is some more Europa Universalis 4 playing as Bohemia and the Succession Bohemian Rhapsody campaign that I'll be playing with Briarstone. And you can check a link to his channel in the description. And yeah, this is basically whenever our king dies, which is currently not Janos, no. Jiri is a pot de When he dies, um, at that moment, Briarstone starts playing, basically. The episodes will be alternating between our channels. Well, the ones that we record ourselves will be on our channels. Okay, we need to send our army to Bamberg right now. Because there's a chance of revolt. And this is not to suppress the revolt, but to basically um, make sure that when it spawns, we instantly attack it. Now, currently we are doing really well. I should basically give a gift to Trier once we have 25. Um, actually, we're going to offer military access because that is going to improve relations even more. Hmm. At least this should go up now. That's now 31. We can do the same with Cologne and Brandenburg, I guess. I'm gonna offer you access. Something, something, pointless wars, and offer it to Brandenburg as well. In order to further our goals, we've decided that troops of Brandenburg should be allowed to have military access to our nation. We hope they all perish in a pointless war. But yeah, our relations are good. We are going to be the next emperor if Austria decides to die. Now, the problem is, the downside of this is that we have to slow, be very slow with our expansion because until we are emperor we cannot piss off everyone else now the good thing is we are allied with all three of these which will severely reduce the aggressive expansion we gain with them on the other hand there is of course the issue that is called imperial oh, what damn it now i forgot to we have ourselves a air, a 622, very good. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to... This is going to be Briarstone, basically, because he will be the one in charge. There we go. So, currently we have Briarstone Zipodebrad as our heir. And we are currently 24. Franz, please. Frederick, die. 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 I would like for him to die, really. And we can tech up Diplomatic. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Last year, they give us two years of advanced as well. Wow, we're doing really well when it comes to points. And we're about to do military as well, which is really good. Normally, you should start with military in the beginning because it's just that p p the potent. I'm gonna wait until next month before claiming our f land. Upper Palatinate rightfully belongs to the House of Wittelsbach. Well, I'm going to fabricate on Straubing now. There we go. We have a while to conquer this, I believe. They are allied to mines in Memmingen, which is really doable. Err. Uh, wow. Barbara's already dead. And I can make a state out of Franconia. Wow, we got her from an event and three years later she dies. I can make this into a state. How many states can I even have right now? So four states out of 15. Oh. Yeah, might as well do it then. And we will get more stuff here. Uh. Will cost us 0 0.05, but we'll increase our income by 0 0.04 once our autonomy is down. And I will fully court for 30. Wow. And since it's gonna rebel anyway, I'm going to decrease autonomy. It is at 90%. It will go down. We are taking attrition though. Yeah, I should move one of them out.
that is costing us manpower every month. Now we don't take attrition and it should go back up. Estates demand control. The clergy suddenly demand control. Mm. I don't like this very much. We're gonna have to give them some territory. And expect to control at least 15%. They are crazy. And these two are both 15%. Yeah, I'm going to revoke one of these from the... Uh... Hmm. They will hate it a lot. Actually, 29.59... They also want 15% though. Oh, it's the burgers. Okay, um, in that case, I'm gonna revoke this. Wow, by 29? Are you kidding me? Fine, let them be pissed. Oh, it only went down to 37. Yeah, so they wouldn't be pissed for that long, but... They don't want land, actually. The clergy does. That's just really annoying. Moravia would almost give them enough. Wow, it's not enough, straight up. Heirs to the clergy, 11.1. Yeah, I have to give them two provinces. That's still not enough for them. But this does make them super happy. And we can now get a hundred administrative support. Gain ten people influence, gain ten influence as well. If we get both of these, that would give them enough influence to get 150 power though. It's close, but but I don't need a either of these right now. Twenty years, yeah I'm not don't, yeah, no, I'm gonna leave it like this. <sighs> well, apparently the burgers don't want land, but they had a whole province there. Moravia, what the hell? Crazy. Very crazy. Anyway, I can actually train another troop. A grand ball, gain 10 prestige, lose a little bit of money. Or lose 5%. I'm gonna arrange a ball then. Why would I not arrange a ball if it gives me free prestige? There they are, the Separatists. A 0 3 one, but they were defeated handily, which means I can call my army back. Because they're now not pissed for a while. So recent uprising is 10 years. Uh, unlawful territory will be gone before then. That's good. And in the meantime, of course, separatism will take down as well. Ten years, that's five. Yeah, so basically we would lose, like, what, 15 by the time they get there? And we might have another revolt happening, actually. Let's tech up militarily. With the amount of administrative power we're gaining, I feel like getting a administrative idea group first. I really do. Innovative would actually be really good. Now, it pairs really well with um, quality or quantity. Which one is it? It's quality. Innovative quality. That gets us a total of 30% combat ability on infantry. It's just really good. And it also pairs well with other things. Diplomatic cooperation would be nice. That is true. I do need a diplotech group as well. Either influence or diplomatic has to be taken. Because of our HRE. HRE. -re. If that makes sense. So I'm actually not going to take it first. No. Diplo wrap, aggressive expansion impact, annexation costs. 
Income from vassals, yearly prestige. It's all really good. Axe for diplomat, really good. Diplomatic relations plus one, cost of reducing war exhaustion. Improve relations, diplo rep, province war score cost, diplo attack cost. Lord impact from all those things. Well, everyone's still voting for us. We could actually get Utrecht as well if we ally them. They wouldn't mind. Um, you know what, let's improve relations with Blatnet, by the way. If we can get them happy, it's going to be good. Oh, Brandenburg is at 200 now. <laughs> oh, seriously, we didn't get to be the Pope? I'm spending five again just to get that small chance of becoming Pope. I mean, that, that's half a year's worth of influence. Whoa, where you get a lot. Okay, we should approve... Hang on, what? We did become... We did become Cure Controller. I completely missed that. They have the following benefits. A lot of benefits. Also aggressive expansion impact. Very, very nice. Um, let's get our relations up with the Pope. To max out. That's really nice. So we have multiple advisors as well. I really need to turn that on. Um, I need to turn on a message setting. Because I personally like it really well at visor on all when an advisor arrives in a province. I would like to get a pop-up of that. I don't need to know if an advisor dies somewhere. Because we already get a pop-up that we have a new advisor. One of our currently ones that is really useful to have, obviously, yeah. But I want to know if we get a new advisor and what they are. They'll be happy soon enough. The clergy is giving us a lot of money. This might become an issue in the long run. It's only 75 to reduce, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, I don't want to make everything too expensive in this country. So yeah, it's the question. Um, diplomatic or influence or innovative? As our first idea group. I mean, 1155. That is an idea every 80 months, which is six and a half years. Well, more than six and a half, actually. This one would be every 30 something months, um, 36, 37 months, so every three years we get an idea. Marketplace, well, yeah, Prague deserves a market. So, actually gives us quite a decent amount of power. I haven't really looked at our money because we're all just sending it over to Saxony where we get some money out of it. We collect 1.64. It's actually not bad. We might collect a little bit more because we will have our marketplace. But beyond that, I don't see really any reason to just not focus on this, this at all. Now, what I would really like is for the Austrian dude to die. Secrets and... They would accept an alliance offer now. Because friendly. Ah. Secrets and our alliance. Ambassadors and diplomatic envoys often doubles as spies, and, or at least informants who go beyond their duties, to gather information in the country where they are supposed to do honest negotiations. This makes it less than surprising that ambassador here in Prague has been suspected of involvement in espionage. So Poland's opinion changed. Uh, lose 20 diplopar or 50% chance to add. Send a request for him to be replaced. Oh no, just try to cut him off. So Poland is spying on us. That is basically what they're saying there. They still have mines in Memmingen as their only allies. This is not a small province though. Um, 
I'm going to support Reich's reform because it's just universally good. 19 provinces of the empire are not part of the empire. Let's add the imperial map mode. So every yellow striped area is not a part of the empire. Oh wow, the papal state has expanded here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the orange ones as well, but the orange ones are basically the vassals, the subjects of Burgundy in this case. And that's the other nine, I guess, and Holstein. Yeah. We have to be a very active emperor in that sense. We're getting some really good spy info on Bavaria now. Steel maps. Oh yeah, that's... Saint performs miracle. Gain free stability. Um, yes, please. Actually, I'm going to abuse that by boosting our stability once and then taking one for free. So now we're into stability, which gives us trade power, spy detection, national unrest goes down, 10% um, taxes, missionary strength, yearly corruption down. It's all around good to have, so yeah, I'll take it very gladly. Yeah, because I... Be I haven't played EU4 at all since I got my new computer until I started this series. So all my map modes are just empty and I have no idea what I had before. I think, so, I think some of it was culturally... Oh, they discovered us. Opinion might actually be a very useful one for us to have. Right now, so we see who is actually going to be happy with us. Or is happy with us. Oh man, Austria is gaining on me. Oh, we're still improving with Platinets, so that's going to be 26 more, even. Sweden again. Wow. Let's start espionaging with Saxony. So we get some claims on his lands as well. Lacking some heirs in places. Truce will expire. I do have the claim on Straubing. Hmm. Mines is at war with Nassau and Würzburg. Yeah. And they are just at war with Mines. Okay. I could get a new claim on Würzburg and take them wholly, but again, I want to be Emperor first. And as soon as I attack anyone and take too much land, then everyone will get pissed. Pissed off enough for not to elect me Emperor. He is 39 though, that is coming up to an age where it's more likely to die. They would ally me, strangely enough, because I didn't rival... Because I did not rival Hungary. Also, okay, so being the Curie Controller doesn't give me an extra relationship slot, sadly. That's okay. Pope maxed out, and we get our tech to level 5, which means that we're 11 years ahead of time. I think actually I should take Innovative then. Just because of that. Yeah, I will. And it's a really good one to start with. I mean, mercenary maintenance is okay to have. Prestige decay. Early, the earlier you get it, it's better, I guess. Um, scientific revolution, really good. Just in general, really good. More advisors. Reduce inflation costs is okay. Monthly war exhaustion, that is really good. And leaders without upkeep, so more generals. And then advisor costs. Lose to stability or get everyone angry. Wow, we will eventually face the Catholic response. Screw that. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I will see you guys later.